Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. We are back at it, ready to rock and roll with some Four Gate Whiskey Company. Uh, but before we uh, dive into Four Gate Whiskey, uh, let's go ahead and get a huge shout out to my newest patrons, my good friends Sean Crawford and Seen Asaiten. So Sean and Seen Asaiten, thank you both for uh, becoming patrons and supporting the Bourbon Judge. As we say in our uh, family, welcome to the Judge family. As well as I should say thank you for all my other patrons as well. Each and every one of you uh, helped for all this to come to fruition. And I truly do appreciate the support and all the love. All right. So we're going to dive into uh, Four Gate Whiskey Company. So what do we know about Four Gate Whiskey Company? A couple of things. So first and foremost, uh, primarily they, they source all their whiskey. So they source their whiskey. Um, and what they're typically doing is they're putting out whiskey that's been aged 7, 8, sometimes even longer. Um, 9, 10, 11 years but they're sourcing it they're aging it for longer they're blending it to make it just flat out amazing and they typically use a lot of different finishes no matter if it's like a a rum a cognac a specialty like wine finish they typically are uh, blending it but then also aging a lot of their their whiskey in x one of those barrels a little bit more expensive um but i will say a lot of times their whiskey has seven eight nine ten year age statements on it so you're definitely getting typically higher end whiskey number one number two whiskey that has then been finished in a secondary barrel so definitely a little bit more expensive but honestly i've never had a bad bottle of four gate whiskey so that's a true statement by itself um last thing i'll say is that you know a lot of times when you think of four gate because it is a little bit more expensive 150 200 um most people typically kind of get those as like birthday presents you know holiday presents whatever it might be uh it's like a true honestly like a celebration kind of a bottle one that you pop and you typically enjoy the hell out of it all right so these are four newish <laughs> releases that we're going to review today. So four gate was kind enough. They sent over some samples. Um, these are whiskeys that came out in the last like six to nine, maybe 12 months. Um, but I just didn't get a chance to get them on the channel before. So happy to review them uh, today. We're going to dive into these four. But before we get started, check out this one. Kelvin collaboration number five. Whew. So I reviewed this on episode 397. So 397, just a couple episodes ago. This might be in my top 10, maybe even my top five of whiskey of the year. So this one by itself, folks, flat out amazing. Again, check out um, episode 397 where I go deep into everything related to Kelvin collaboration number five. All right, I'm ready to sip some whiskey. So we got four here. Try to keep this high level and quick and fun if we will cool all right so the first one we have here this is uh these are again obviously sample bottles this one here is um this is the, the flagship bottle so four gate wanted to come out with a product that was truly just kind of embodies everything that they're known for which is like you know the the toasting um the split stave model they use a different you know different staves that they use with the whole kelvin collaboration partnership from kelvin cooperage so this is their flagship bottle and they really want something that can be available either at sillbox or at you know they're, they're in about 10 or 11, 11 different states where you can go into the store and actually find it on the shelves and it represents their good quality whiskey at a lower price point for them, which is truly lower for them, $150. So let's dive into this one. Let's see what we got. So this one here again, this is the flagship bottle, 150 bucks. So it's finished in toasted and charred cast. Seven year old Kentucky bourbon. Again, with that whole split stave model. Coming in at exactly 116.1 proof. So 116.1 proof. Whew. I do love that whole split stave. It gives it like that sweet and spicy charred kind of a note. I always love that. Oh man, let's get into this bad boy. Nice, sweet, caramel, peppery kind of nose. Smidge of cinnamon, very nice. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, cheers. Woo. Mm. See that's something. Wow, that's powerful. Damn. Very powerful. That's 116.1 proof. Almost looks like it could be like 125 almost in a way. Very bold. Everything in the nose matches the palate. Tons of caramel, tons of pepper. A little bit more leather I got in the palate than I did in the nose. Didn't get a ton of that in the nose. 
long, powerful, bold experience. I'm gonna give four judgments at the end. Change it up a little bit. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> mm. Wow, very nice, very nice. All right, I'm gonna save the judgments to the end. Change it up a little bit this time. One thing I will say, I'll we'll get some water. One thing I will say is, so uh, earlier this summer, out in Kentucky had a patron only meetup and um I think I posted I think on Instagram somewhere I posted it somewhere and Bob was like hey judge why don't I drop by so Bob is super cool uh, Bob is one of the owners of four gate super cool he popped into our patron only meetup he brought a whole bunch of whiskey that's not even on the market yet like ones they're planning for even like 2024 for next year he gave everyone's different samples just really down to earth super cool guy and that's the, one of the reasons why i also do love four gate whiskey company they are very much they they prefer to be out in the public and actually meeting with people as opposed to kind of being behind the scenes where you don't really know exactly who the people are. So I really appreciate it, Bob. Thanks again, Bob, for uh, uh, joining the patron only happy hour and having a blast with us and uh, and letting us sample some of your new and up and coming releases. I almost feel like we almost had to sign like a like an NDA, <laughs> but we had a blast. We had a good time. Mm. All right, so that's the flagship. Flagship is no joke, boy. That's pretty damn good. All right, but no judgments just yet. Not, not yet. All right, let's get to the second one. So this one is interesting. From the Majestic Wood series. Woo, say that again, Judge. <laughs> the Majestic Wood series. So this one, newly defined Majestic Wood series. This is Four Gates uh, finished in Brazilian Ambarana Oak. Uh, so Brazilian Ambarana Oak. Ah, uh, wow, that is big time ombrana holy mama so this is seven year old kentucky bourbon whiskey and again i say seven year old but it's at least seven year olds a lot of times they do blend in older age whiskey as well but it's at least seven year old so seven year old kentucky bourbon whiskey finished in brazilian oak as a secondary finish now we don't know wow that is such a cinnamon bomb jeez we don't know how long it was finished in the ombrana but by guessing from the nose this had to be a long time because, I mean, it is deep and robust. This is truly a cinnamon bomb all day. A lot of vanilla in there as well, but very cinnamony. I mean, goodness gracious. This is truly French toast in a bottle. Whew, goodness. Price on this one. A little steep, a little steep. $230. Whew, a little, little bit expensive on this one. All right. Oh, very nice. Wow. That is a great combination. Two things. Two things simple. Cinnamon and pepper. That's a very pepper, Ford, and cinnamon bomb together. Kind of combined. Let me get a little bit more of that one. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Very much pepper and cinnamon together combined. So what's interesting about that one is the fact that it's a great combination of the sweetness from the cinnamon, but it's very peppery at the same time. Long, bold finish, coming in at exactly 115.1 proof, very bold, very robust. Again, this is one where if I had to sip it neat, I'm sorry, sip it blind, I might guess that this one was actually closer to like 120 proof. Very bold, very robust quite delicious everyone and i mean everyone has been on the ambarana kick for, for 2023 it's like it's the hot thing right now the hot new wood because everyone loves the whole brazilian oak wood the ambarana wood so very interesting very delicious all right we are going to batch 27 uh-oh batch 27 so this is the uh the french oak specialty so batch 27 is seven year old Kentucky rye whiskey. Also the split stave by Kelvin Cooperich. And it's finished, as I mentioned earlier, in the French oak, kind of like the Ambarana. We don't know the exact time it was finished in the uh, French oak, but it was finished in uh, French oak. This one, 115.3 proof and price $200, which is pretty much uh, for the most part, their, uh, their, you know, their ongoing uh, price point, that $200 mark. 
This one happens to be a little bit more than Ambrana. Happens to be a little bit more expensive because the Ambrana wood, especially if you get the high quality Ambrana wood, which I know, which is what Forgate did, um, it's going to cost a little bit more. So that's the reason why the Ambrana finish was a little bit more. And the flagship is probably, actually, I think this is the cheapest of their of their all for Forgate at 150 bucks. But the $200 price point, that's pretty much BAU for Forgate. All right, very nice. Because it is a rye, I will say this definitely stays true to being a rye, meaning the fact that in the nose, I'm getting a ton of like mint. Wow, ton of mint, smidge of floral. But what's interesting is because the whole French oak finish, it's like a minty, floral, peppery note kind of mixed in with like um, almost like notes of like caramel, some vanilla. Almost even like a little bit of like a milk chocolate kind of a note as well. Very unique. Interesting. This is going to be very interesting. <laughs> hey, real quick, I need three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are your thoughts on any of these four gate releases if you had them yourself. And last but not least, please make sure you also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get a notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right. Cheers. Ooh, mm. this is good. Shit. <laughs> that, this is batch 27? Wow, that's good. That is really, really good. That might be my favorite so far, honestly. I think it is. That is exceptional. Woo, I gotta get a little bit more, I'm sorry. Wow. Mmm. Honestly, when I first heard about Batch 27, I wasn't sure how this was going to like end up. You have a couple things going on. You got your rye whiskey, which is very spicy by itself. You have the combination with the French oak, and you also have the whole split stave combination. So I wasn't sure exactly what we were going to get with Batch 27. That is a home run hitter. Jeez. Oh, man, I want to go back for more, but I got this other one. I'm gonna have to come back offline <laughs> and have more of that. That is amazing. That's flat out amazing. Everything in the nose transfers to the palate. It is a wonderful combination of sweet and spicy. It's almost like it's a true rye, but that French oak, it cuts the mint in the floral notes. It cuts it like in half and you you still get like the, those notes of like the mint and the, um, like the floral notes and the spiciness, but you also get the sweetness from that French oak. That is a home run. Bob, you did well with that one. Literally. <laughs> mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Now, we are on to the end of the road. So, as many people may or may not know, Forgate has a very uh, unique and a great partnership with Kelvin Cooperage. Everything that they do, they finish their their whiskey in uh, Kelvin Cooperage barrels. So because of that, uh, Kelvin Cooperage just celebrated their 60 year anniversary. And for that, they came out with a brand new release that just literally released, I'm talking not even a week ago, not even a week ago. This is called Kelvin 60. So Kelvin 60, Again, paying homage to the 60th anniversary of Kelvin Cooperage, their partner, you know, and I say for just for the barrels, but truly a real partnership. I don't know where Fourgate would even be without, honestly, the whole Kelvin Cooperage partnership. They do a lot of unique things for Fourgate that other Cooperages, honestly, flat out just wouldn't do. So they have a huge partnership. And for that, this special batch called Kelvin 60 is paying homage to their friendship. So I respect that. So cheers to, to Fourgate as well as uh, Kelvin Cooperage. But this is an eight-year-old Kentucky Street uh, uh, bourbon whiskey, double barrel, so this is like double oaked. And now this one comes in much higher from a proof standpoint, 125.6. Same exact price point though, $200. All right, so we got a double barreled, eight-year-old, oh boy. Whew. Oh man, you get all those lovely notes from a double oaked. Oh man, this is just, even in the nose, this is deep leather. Oh my gosh, deep chocolate, 
obviously tons of oak. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These two in the nose were good. These two in the nose were amazing. Hopefully the palette matches this bad boy. We shall see. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow, I, got, I have to get a little bit more. Hold on. Oh, man. Wow. I'm pouring more. I'm pouring more. I'm going in. So, does the palette match the nose, Judge, and the finish? What's interesting about this one is that it's 125.6 proof. It almost sips like it's, it could be 115. This goes down way too easy for a double barrel, double, you know, double oaked, if you will, eight year old Kentucky bourbon whiskey. This is flat out amazing. And I mean amazing. It might even be better than Kelvin. I don't know. It might be better than Kelvin 5. I'll have to do that offline. This is flat out ridiculous. This new release. Oh, 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 oh. Jeez Louise. Hold on. What's nice about this one? And I didn't get that in the news. What's nice about this one, in the palette and the finish, there's like notes of like blackberries and blueberry kind of notes kind of hidden in the background. That is a hitter. All right, so let's get some judgments out. We all ready? Woo, here we go. This to me, I think was pretty much clear. I'm gonna give a judgment across the board. These, in my opinion, all four are buys. But I'm going to rank them in order, not including Kelvin 5, because that's different. I'm going to rank them in order. By far, the number one is the new Kelvin 60. That is flat out ridiculous. It, I'm telling you, this is an absolute grand slam. It might even compete with Kelvin Collab 5. I need to try those side by side. That's a home run. Second is by far the French Oak. French Oak... Oh my goodness, the split save by French Oak, Batch 27, amazing. My third favorite, my third favorite, you might think it would be the Ambarana, but it was not. My third favorite is actually the flagship. I think for $150, dollars 4 you're making some great whiskey. I love the fact that it's a little bit more affordable, for, you know, in terms of 4 standards. Um, I love the flagship bottle. So if you find that out there at a cheaper price point and you want to try 4 absolutely try the flagship. I absolutely loved it. And fourth place, I'll go with the Amberana finish, the uh, Majestic Wood Amberana. For me, I think, you know, honestly, it's very, very good. Don't get me wrong, but it is a little bit more expensive. Um, and there is just so much whiskey out there on the market this day and age that has the Amberana finishes that if you want to try the whole Amberana by itself, maybe try something that's a little bit more, you know, reasonably priced only because this is like $230. Is it good? Absolutely. But if you have to really like Amberana to enjoy this, and I think that's the reason why. So it's definitely still a buy, but I would just say not Amberana is not for everyone. So try Amberana at a bar first. And if you love Amberana, then yes, the four gate Amberana finish would definitely be for you as well. All right, folks, until the next time, as you say in this courtroom, peace, cheers, and most important, salute. Take care.